uh, Major Retired Todd Longmaker. I'm the Senior Army Instructor of the Monroe County Tech Center uh, JROTC program. And on behalf of Joetta Baselli, the Monroe County School Superintendent, and Mrs. Tricia King, the Director of the Monroe County Tech Center, and Mrs. Angie Mann, the Principal of James Monroe High School, we want to welcome you to our Military Signing Day uh, 2022. Thank you so much for coming. Now there's many people here today that I want to recognize uh, and acknowledge that they are in the room and I'm probably going to forget some of you so uh, forgive me in advance if that happens. So there's a uh, some special guests that we have, if I can find my sheet that I've been carrying around for the last 20 minutes, <laughs> and I seem to have laid it down somewhere. We do have with us this evening, um, Senator Stephen Baldwin is in the room. Senator, would you stand and say hello? Thank you so much. We also have, on behalf of uh, Congresswoman Carol Miller, we have Kyle Saunders, and I'm going to ask him and Mrs. Trish King to come to the stage and do a quick presentation on behalf of uh, Representative Miller, who could not make it today. Thank you, good morning. Uh, I'll be uncharacteristically brief and extend to you, uh, Congresswoman's uh, and my own sincere thanks to all those involved with this military signing ceremony. Uh, moreover, I want to express our total appreciation and admiration uh, for all those students who are showcasing unmistakable selflessness and courage in pledging to join and strengthen our United States Armed Forces. Because of your hearts for service and in recognition of those at James Monroe High School uh, who have shown an unwavering commitment to providing its students with the requisite resources to make this awesome pledge, I am proud to present James Monroe High School uh, with this United States flag that was flown over our nation's capital, accompanied by a certificate from the architect of the capital that reads, this is to certify that the enclosed flag was flown over the United States Capitol on December 13th, 2021, at the request of the Honorable Carol D. Miller, Member of Congress. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Saunders. What an honor. This is a collabor collaborative effort between the Monroe County Tech Center and James Monroe High School. We will be honoring some uh, students here today uh, from uh, some that are in the tech uh, programs and some that are not, but they are all equally as deserving of the honor today that they will have bestowed upon them. Before we actually get into the military signing day, we have a surprise for you. We have something a little special that we want to do real quick before we transition back into uh, our program. And so at this time, I would like to ask, if he's in the room, I saw him earlier, um, Mr. Shannon Brim. Are you here, Shannon? I would like to ask Shannon to come to the stage. Uh, Shannon is a uh, district superint uh, district county. county superintendent of the Department of Highways. And he's going to, we have another student here that does something very special. And we want to honor that student since we have the governor here and some other uh, folks who uh, we want to uh, make known this honor that this student did. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Brim. He's going to tell you what happened and why this is special. And we're going to have that student come up as well. Um, Mr. Mr. Will August, are you here? Come on up, young man. I'm going to turn the mic over to you, Shannon. Thank you, sir. I'll try to be brief, but I want to honor this young man today, uh, tell a little bit of the story. I didn't know my boss was going to be here, Governor Justice. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll try to explain, as uh, County Administrator for the Department of Highways, one of my jobs is to take concerns from citizens, and a lot of our senators and congressmen and other politicians send us stuff from constituents to 
you know, uh, concerns in a certain area. Well, Mr. Baldwin had uh, received an email from Mr. Baldwin's here about brush and uh, brush and trees and overgrowth on two of our roads here in the county. Well, I got it and I looked at the name and I have to tell you, I've been here for eight years. I've lived in Greenville for almost eight years. My assistant lives in Greenville and my head crew chief lives in Greenville and we had no idea who Will Bonus was. We ask everybody. We don't know who he is. Actually, one of the roads that he referenced is the road that my assistant administrator lives on. I don't know who Will Boggess is. So, come to find out, he's a ninth grade student at James Monroe High School. And he wrote an email that was, and I told his parents just a few minutes ago, that email was a professional email. It was just like, a, it was better than most adults email me with complaints or concerns. And I thought he done a great job. Now, I'm going to to air horn a little bit because before I received his email, we had already took care of the problem. We had cut all the brush off of that road, so that's good for us. But I want to honor him with a certificate today of distinguished community service and community. Uh, in, I put on here this certifies that Wilson Boggess is an asset to his community for caring about the safety of others, and I think he's done a wonderful job. So we all want to present this with you, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Acknowledging some uh, good folks that have taken their time out of their day to come and make this trip all the way to Linside here in wonderful Monroe County to honor these students today. And with us from the West Virginia National Guard, if you would please, please stand, sir, we have Colonel James Bowen. And Colonel Bowen, he is the Chief of Staff of the West Virginia Army National Guard. Um, we also have in the room Lieutenant Colonel uh, Watson, uh, Jake Watson, Watson, please. he is the retention and recruiting command commander, and uh, with him seated is Sergeant Major Frank Leon, who I've known for many years. He's the Sergeant Major of the Recruiting and Retention Command. So those of you who have recruiters that you see or see the recruiters bouncing around from the National Guard, they are uh, under the care of these fine gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming and joining us today. Uh, also, um, we have along with us here is, um, did Mr. Wallace make it today? He's also Mr. Wallace with the West Virginia Department of Education. I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. Mr. Malice is here. Thank you for coming, sir. <laughs> Wonderful. And we have um, also uh, in the room today, if I, if I miss some folks, we tried to get everyone before they showed up. We have a couple of our, a few of our Monroe County Board members. We have uh, the Vice President of the Monroe County um, a school board, Mr. Everett Fraley. And, he and actually, I think that's all we have of the school board members. Uh, the county commission sent us Mr. Melvin Young. Mr. Mr. Young, could you stand? And make him up and the magistrate of Green of Greenbrook County. I'm sorry. The governor and myself are from Greenberg County, but we, we both uh, live and work here in Monroe County. He, he actually works a farm here in the county. So, the magistrate from Monroe County, Mr. Kevin Miller. <laughs> and I think that's about it. There was a, uh, another delegate. I don't, did Mr. Cooper arrive? Mr. Roy Cooper, did he make it over? Uh, and that's fine. I know he wanted to be here. Uh, he's got a lot on his plate. We'll remember his wife in our prayers, if you will, uh, going forward into your weekend. Now, with all the acknowledgments out of the way, I hope I did not uh, forget anyone. We're going to transition right into something very special. We actually have a video message from this 
superintendent of schools for the state of West Virginia. And Mrs. King is going to put that video on. And uh, we will see Mr. Clayton Birch and also uh, Miller Hall from the West Virginia Board of Education, the president of the board, once our video fires up. sneaks in on us when we least expect it.
before I recognize our keynote speaker, there's one final group of people um, that really deserve to be acknowledged today, and those are the family members of the students uh, for which we will honor today. Families, uh, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandmas, if you're here and you have a student where, that are joining the military, could you please stand and let us acknowledge you? Thank you so much, you can be seated. Our first president, George Washington, once said, when we assumed the soldier, we did not lay aside the citizen. And we shall most certainly rejoice with you in the happy hour when the establishment of American liberty upon the most firm and solid foundations shall enable us to return to our private stations and our private lives in the bosom of a free, peacefully, and happy country. He also said to be prepared for war is one of the most effective means of preserving peace. And these students we're going to honor today have made a commitment to do that. None of us, and I know some of your parents are anxious, uh, maybe some of you are concerned, maybe some of you are nervous, but we all pray for peace. And I, for one, believe that as the president did, to be most prepared is the best way to achieve peace. And your sons and your daughters are making that commitment today. It is my great privilege and honor on behalf of the superintendent of schools in Monroe County and the Monroe County Tech Center and James Monroe High School to introduce our keynote speaker, the Honorable Governor Jim Justice. Thank you, sir. Now they did, 
Now, a lot of times we get all wrapped up in everything we're doing. You know, we congratulate James and Rowe on an incredible, incredible state championship that they just won. And it was really, really great beyond belief. But at the end of the day, the state championships, you're talking on your phone to your friends, you're going to see Grandma, all the different things that are going on. Are they going on today in Ukraine? Think about it. Just think about it. Think about what's happening over there right now. And absolutely, I would absolutely urge you in every way to offer up your prayers for those people because it's bad. Absolutely, just know just this, that you've got this semi, a lot of people refer to him as a crazy man in Putin in Russia. No, I don't believe he's a crazy man. I believe he wants something, and I believe he is diabolical, and I believe he's really smart. Absolutely, he wants something. He absolutely wants to restore the Soviet Union back, or Russia back to the Soviet Union. And I've got to just tell you just this story just one second. In 1976, I think we elected a president, Jimmy Carter, and things didn't go very good. All of a sudden, we had 20% inflation or 20% interest rate, 20% interest rates. There was gas lines everywhere. There was 100 hostages held in Iran. We were boycotting the Olympics. We had a Russian embargo going on. Many of y'all are so young, you could have never known this. A hundred hostages in Iran. We just gave back the Panama Canal, deregulated oil and gas. Absolutely, our allies were scared to death. And the Soviet Union was so powerful, it was off the chart. They had just invaded Afghanistan, and absolutely, they were so powerful, it was unbelievable. In just a matter of just a very short number of years, President Reagan was elected president, and before you know it, he was standing in Germany telling President Gorbachev of Russia to tear down that wall. And the entire Soviet Union collapsed. Now why do I tell you that? And I want you to really listen to me today. Really listen. The reason I tell you that is eight years before that, the Soviet Union was so powerful it was off the chart. And it crumbled. It crumbled. Can America do the same thing? You better believe it. You better believe we can do the same thing. And how do we ensure ourselves that it's not going to happen? We ensure ourselves by just exactly what's going on today. People stepping up, voluntarily stepping up and serving, a calling. And we owe them. We owe every one of them. And you've got to never forget that. Never, ever forget that. We absolutely owe it. See, I don't have any notes. I just speak to you from my heart because I love you. <laughs> and I want absolutely your goodness that you've got going on right now to continue on and on and on and on. Absolutely, I mean it when I tell you I love you. I don't blow smoke at anybody. I don't have time to do it. But absolutely, I want you to, to know in the bottom of your heart that these people, these people, your friends, you owe them. You owe all the people that came before them. And literally and truly, this country is so great and so wonderful. It's off the chart. Your opportunities are unbelievable. And we want that forevermore. There is only one way. There is only one way. Strength brings peace. Weakness absolutely causes every bad thing to happen around us. We're strong in this country. And we're strong because of these folks. And you. But nevertheless, the only last thing I would tell you is just one other thing. We've introduced a lot of real dignitaries and that was really important. And you gave me the opportunity as your governor and honor off the chart to be able to talk to you today, and that's really good.
The only thing is we left out one little surprise and one little buddy. So all right, we gotta have Baby Dog come out here. Give it up for Baby Doll. Okay, and now that the guest of honor is really in the room, what we can do is trans, uh, transition to the whole reason we came today. We want to get these wonderful students up here and honor them. I'm going to ask that the principal of James Monroe High School, Mrs. Angie Mann, and uh, the director of the Monroe County Tech Center, Mrs. Tricia King, if they will come up and join us on the stage. We have uh, some uh, two recruiters. The group of students you're going to see today will be going into two different branches of the service, the National Guard and the United States Marine Corps. So they're going to come up. I want to turn the mic over to them and let's get it started. their families who have supported them in their endeavors. Our first um, person to sign today with the Army National Guard is Ayla Cameron. Staff Sergeant Ryan, if you would move over to the table there. And Ayla, if you will come forward, your certificate there and your paper to sign is waiting for you. Thank you. for these students, as well as certificates from their offices congratulating them and commending them for their service. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'd like to present this with all of my recruits. I take great pride in all of my recruits that enlist with the National Guard. So I would like to present all of my recruits with the Soldier's Creed. The Soldier's Creed is something that every soldier in the Army itself, especially in National Guard, they live by. It's a set of Army values. It's what they live by within their job and outside civilian side as well. So I would like to present this to you, Ayla Cameron. Next, we would like to ask Jacob Kraft to come forward.
And next, James Snedden. Unfortunately, his twin brother couldn't be here, he was sick, so we would like to also uh, get a round of applause for his brother, William. <laughs> Chad Sizemore, if you'll come up. Good deal. I enjoyed that. Uh, I know you did as well. What we want to do now, um, I'm going to, before we retire the colors, uh, this concludes the official part of our ceremony, but I'm going to ask the superintendent of schools, Ms. Joetta Basili, to come up and make a couple closing remarks. Uh, she has something she wants to share with you.
um, to join us next door at the seminar center for a reception. And again, I thank each of you for being here and um, supporting our students. Thank you.